Hi YouTube, Mark from Advanced Electronic. Uh, this is a semi-replication of the Don Smith generator. And uh, basically what I have come up with is something that draws energy from the ambient and it is not something that you can measure voltage with. So let me just explain a little bit how this works. Um, this right here, obviously, it's energized right now. I'm touching it nothing's happening to me. Um, what happens is... It looks like a transformer, but it doesn't act like one. What we're doing is we are energizing the system with a ZVS from a Variac. I rectified the power through a transformer and a flyback transformer here with uh, five and five turns uh, through diodes with double uh, arc gaps. One is actually firing an arc gap across the two leads where it comes out of the transformer, and it goes through diodes through the negative side of a diode on the uh, the ground side and the hot side goes through the positive side and from there there's another arc gap and then it goes through goes to a point microfarad uh, 10 kV or I'm sorry 4 kV cap bank and um, that goes into the what I'm using as a primary is 140 turns on the inside to reduce the voltage uh, unfortunately <laughs> I'm not getting voltage out for a reading, I'm getting zero volts. If you look here, we have 41.4 uh, volts uh, peak to peak and zero volts on the um, lead to ground. So what I've done is I grounded the center of this coil and I can take a reading from up here and I get, it's about 50 peak to peak. I go down to the opposite side and I have 50 peak to peak. Now here's what I'm gonna do because the secondary is not connected to anything except for uh, one side over here is connected to this, which is connected nowhere. And the other side goes to this red lead, comes out, and it's connected to, let me get the meter out of the way, a LED. Now here's the funny part. Because there's no voltage on it, uh, nobody's going to really believe me, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ground the center of this coil. And now here's one side of the coil. I'm going to, I don't have any light on the LED. I can go to the center point, nothing. Go over here and I'm fully lit. This is a 20 watt LED. It interferes with the, um, with the camera for whatever reason. But we're only running at between 37 and maybe 112 hertz. So now here's the crazy part. I can take, and I'm going to, give me a second folks, I have to handle my camera. I'm going to put the negative probe in with, oh, I'm going to connect it here first. Actually, I can stick it right in the end, and I can clamp down on it. Get it. Okay, finally we got it. Anyway, so here we go. I'm going to put the meter on. 200 volts AC and connect to the other side I get zero volts connect to the middle where it's grounded I get nothing connect back to here nothing but I'll also do this it's still nothing now 
I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the meter. I'm going to take this ideal meter, still at 0.19. Actually, I'm going to show you this again. I'm going to connect the LED and show you what happens. We'll wait for it to go up to point. Actually, let it set. I put the uh, LED on. It stays at 0.19, goes to 0.18. I take the LED off, goes up. On, off, on, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test with the other meter, I'm going to also put it on DC voltage to show you guys we're not getting DC, we wouldn't get DC out of this anyway because there's no rectifier on here, but nothing it's connected it's connected over here now I'm gonna go to AC and it says 0.2 without anything connected to it and I'm gonna go ahead and connect the probe to the coil which it is right here at zero volts over here it's connected the red one still zero volts 